Hello and welcome to the fall 2023 season finale of the Mason Cable News Show, Patriots. I hope everyone has had a great break. My name is Brandon Fergosa. And I'm Matt Stalzer. Final season has truly dawned, Patriots. We head over to Shreyas, who is on the street, to ask students how their finals are going, while also diving into students' Spotify wrapped, which dropped this week. I am not Julian, I'm Shreyas, and for my last show here at MCN, I'm going to be taking over Julian's spot. So it's finals week, people are starting to get stressed, people are starting to get absolutely hammered. So what we're going to do is we're going to ask them how they're doing and how they're holding up. We're here at Wilkins Plaza, and we're going to keep going. How's your finals week been going? My finals week is going. As you can tell, I like, I like space quite a bit. Mm -hmm. um, I actually switched from astronomy to geology because the physics and calculus required for, for astronomy is beyond me. Mm -hmm. So I switched to geology. That's what a lot of us astronomy majors do. We switch to geology, become planetary scientists. There's no calculus. There's no physics. It's pretty good bet. Yeah, personally, as a sociology major, physics <laughs> and calculus really isn't my thing either. I really haven't paid too much attention to it because if I do, I know I'm going to get overly stressed. So, uh -huh. yeah. so, uh, so your your message is ignore it till it matters. Ignore it till it matters. Just kind of live your life stress free. It's been pretty strange. I have my final project with me actually. That's your final project. It's for uh, an uh, English class. You know, after writing research papers about the effect of politics and music, it's really funny making a, a plastic figure of John Lemon. Not too bad. I have a literature review to write, which is kind of a pain. Um, and then I just have a article to write for my journalism law class, so not too bad. I will say I'm in the midst of planning, organizing, and running a speech tournament, a high school speech tournament, which I think is going to be the death of me, but I'm going to make it through. Fine. Uh, I'm a music major, so I hate my life, but, you know, that's how it goes. Now that Spotify Wrapped is out, who is your top artist? Well, my top artist is Chet Baker. All right. Jazz musician. My top song is not by Chet Baker, actually. It's... It's uh, Calcium by Echo 2K. Okay, word, yeah. word. And do you like your Spotify rap? I know some people haven't really liked theirs this year. I love it. I should preface this by saying I'm in a metal band, and my top artists are Slipknot, Korn, The Beatles, Johnny Cash, and Hosey Air. I don't use Spotify, uh, I'm gonna be honest. Give a good guess to who your top artists are. Uh, probably either Mavis Staples. Or it's gonna probably be gorillas because I love gorillas. All right. Or maybe it's uh, Peepo's uh, album, The Garf and the Mask. Well, I can make a good guess. Um, I did a road trip from Virginia to Seattle, and uh, it always played like a tribe called Quest, um, Outcast, like a bunch of old 90s hip hop. My top five is Say It Ain't So by Weezer, Breeze Blots by Alt J. Hold Me Like a Grudge by Fall Out Boy, Love from the Other Side by Fall Out Boy. Keep in mind, this album came out in March, so we were listening. And then I also saw their concert this summer, so okay. no surprise. So full Fall Out Boy fan. I'm full, full Fall Out Boy. Right. Um, and then my last one is Void by Melanie Martinez. Okay. Who is your top artist? Uh, Duran Duran. My top song was actually not Duran Duran, it was The River by Daisy Jones and the Six. Actually, my top three songs are Tyler the Creator songs off of Wolf. Okay. Um, I listen to that shit non-stop. A true musician, I see. A true musician. Uh -huh. But uh, here, actually, I put it on uh, my story. <laughs> Word, all right. Uh, number one, Tyler the Creator. Number two, RX Bandits. Number three, Nothing More. Number four, Paramore. Number five, Loathe. 45,000 minutes. My top artist this year is just one like indie artist. His name is Tamino. Okay. Um, he just makes a lot of um, very, in my eyes, exotic music. And it's like a mixture of like indie rock with like Arabic music. So. Oh, word. Okay, that's, that's really dope. So who is her top artist? My guess was New Jeans. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Let's. Okay. All right. All right, here we go. Give me my top artist. Victoria yes! Monet. That's Victoria Monet. <laughs> she opened up a sh her like tour in DC. Look at that. And your peak listening month is this month. Yeah, this yeah. November. <laughs> nice. Number two is Ariana. Number three. three is Arctic Monkeys. Four is Paramore. Word. New Jeans was not in her top five, so I was no. just wrong. <laughs> so the only way we can end Julian on the street is with the man himself, Julian Lee. Yeah, no, nah, I'm having a great day. Thanks for asking. Yeah, Shred is just sort of took my show but it's fine i'm not mad about it it's fine uh it is my show now um and it'll continue being my show i'm actually 
it's actually my show now. It's Shreyas on the Street. Uh -huh. So um, okay. fully fully taken over. So I guess we'll end it with showing our Spotify rap. So yeah, I feel like that's that's important. That's have the you... natural ending, I believe. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen your Spotify rap? I have. Yet? I have indeed seen my Spotify rap. I haven't. Tried looking this morning. Didn't work. I assumed it was broken. Went back to sleep. My listening year, it took me places. It took me places I've never seen. I'm going to guess Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Okay. It's Berkeley, Berkeley, USA. Yeah. Eloise, Denzel Curry, and Anderson. I played What You Won't Do for Love by Bobby Caldwell That's 48 song of the times year. this year. It's a good track. I listen to Post Martin Jukebox the most. I'm in top 2% of their fans. I literally started last month. I did really like Die For You. Their cover of Die For You is really good. I would die for that song. With my sound town being Hyderabad, India, which is crazy because that's exactly where I'm from in India. Okay. <laughs> so um, that's always fun. My top artist is Anirudh Ravichander. I went to a concert of his this year, so I'm glad that he did make it. I'm was his, he good? He was great. Yeah, top 1% fan, so nice. He's in the 1%. He's in the 1%. So my, my top artist, number one is Anirudh Ravichander. Number two is Vivis, which makes sense. Number three is Taman. Number four is A.R. Aman. And number five is Troy Sivan. Again, it was literally just one song. I don't know how he got into my Spotify rap. Thank you, Shreyas. So Matt, we usually do the round table at the end of the episode, but those interviews really had me thinking, who was your top artist this year? You know, I kind of feel bad because ever since Taylor Swift's new album came out, I've sort of been dogging her, you know, telling people that I thought she became overrated. Yeah. Come to find out that she is my most listened to artist of the past two years. Oh, wow. That's humiliating. <sighs> yeah, I know. So who's yours? Um, Mine is Lana Del Rey, obviously. She's like one of my favorite artists. Huh. Never heard of her. Anyway, back to the news. <sighs> Uh, we have exciting news for our MCN viewers. We are launching a new health and wellness show called Empowered, hosted by Nadine Abdallah. I talked to Nadine to get a glimpse into what is to come. Hey everybody, today I'm here with Nadine Abdallah. Hi Nadine, how are you doing today? Good, how are you? Hello, I'm doing great. <laughs> now, firstly, I want to congratulate you on your new MCN fitness segment. Thank you. Um, but before we get into that, I just want to first talk about your personal fitness story. Now, can you tell me what motivated you or um, inspired you to take this journey? Yes, yeah, so it's kind of a lot, a little bit of everything. Um, I would say the main things are just like feeling insecure and like self-doubt self-esteem issues, compare myself a lot to like girls on social media right. and kind of like the main driven was kind of like anger from being bullied at such a young age from my parents because I used to be kind of like chubby and quiet and shy and you know nerdy and all that so I kind of just yeah so I kind of just used um like working out as a way to release all these like negative emotions mm -hmm. um I've always wanted to be an active person it's also like for physical like like wellness as well but um, just more so to relieve these negative emotions. And I was like, how do you relieve negative emotions on the internet? <laughs> yeah. And said, working out. And I said, okay, I guess I'll try. So that's, I tried and I'm here now. And so, would you yeah. say it worked out in the end? Yes, of yeah. course it did. Awesome. Yes, I've seen a lot of progress. So I definitely recommend a lot of people to like, start working out. Right. And then during this journey too, I also overheard that you took to social media to start um, fitness TikTok videos. Can you yeah. tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, so basically, um, since I'm like in like journalism, I've always loved like media, TV, radio, all of that. Right. Um, so as I was kind of on TikTok one day, I came across a couple of girls like on TikTok making like fitness content that like helped inspire me and motivate me to want to work out even more. Right. Because it's kind of like, oh, I kind of want to look like them. And they kind of, a lot of the workouts were like science backed up. Mm, like, so okay. it was real videos like real how to work out like with like strength training and everything right so they kind of just inspired me and motivated me and i said kind of my head like if they inspired me then maybe i can inspire somebody else right. so i kind of took the initiate initiative and got a tripod and started filming and started yeah. posting and people loved it and got inspired and I just kept going. Awesome. And then now that we know a little bit about you, um, let's talk a little bit about your new fitness segment here on MCN. Can you tell us uh, what viewers can expect of this? Yeah, so it's going to be a little similar to my TikTok, but more longer, I okay. would say. So it's a lot of workout videos, me talking more so about the physical and mental challenges that fitness has brought to me um, more so 
how it helped me throughout my school year as well because I know it can be very stressful for us college students who right. try to survive out here. Right. So um, more so just give people inspiration and motivation um, to start working out and kind of give insightful information about kind of fitness in general. And how they can apply that to their day-to-day -day lives and yes. their routines. Yes, you know? exactly. Um, and then do you, does this segment have a title yet? And if so, um, could you explain the reasoning for the title? Yes, it does. So the name of my segment is Empowered. Um, there isn't really much of a deep story behind <laughs> yeah. my name. Uh, it's more so I kind of thought to myself one day, I was like, what? Like, how do I feel when I'm working out? And honestly, the true answer is I feel empowered. I feel like I can take on the day. Um, it's a good way to release stress and just be mindful. And I just feel empowered. And I feel like if I can feel empowered, everybody can feel empowered. So let's all be empowered. You know? Yes, I love that. <laughs> yeah. Well, awesome. It was great speaking with you, Nadine. Thank you so much for having me. Of and course. Yes, and stay tuned for next semester because I'll be releasing my new fitness segment, Empowered. Join Student Support and Advocacy Center in making phone charms to wind down the end of the year. Snacks and drinks will also be provided. This event will take place on November 30th from 1.15 to 2.45 p.m. in Sub 1 3200. Coming next semester is the establishment of the first South Asian umbrella organization at George Mason University. The collective organizations of South Asia, Asia also known as COSA, are planning big things next semester. To give us a sneak peek, Vice President of External Affairs, Sona, joins Amal Kazi to talk about COSA. Hello and welcome to MCN. My name is Amal Kazi. I work at WGMU. I'm a sophomore and I'm majoring in marketing and I'm going to be interviewing Sona about COSA. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Hi everyone. My name is Sona Yatomurthy. I'm an international student here at Mason and I'm a sophomore majoring in IT. So um, about COSA, what does it stand for? COSA stands for the Collective Organizations of South Asia, and I'm the Vice President of External Affairs. So to my understanding, this is a fairly new organization, right? So how did you get the idea of starting this and who are you starting it with? Um, I did not kick play a role in kickstarting the organization. However, I was invited to join it. Um, my, our amazing president, Shreyas Adichirala, I think did, that, did a majority of the part of head starting it. And the idea stemmed from um, organizations such as like HALA and APAC, where different communities would come together and form a stronger bond within themselves on university, in university to provide more like a homely feeling to students. And this is also something similar to that. That's very, very cool. Um, so is this something that has a national branch as well, or is it only within Mason? This is definitely within Mason thing. That's, uh, that's really, really great that you're starting such a big organization with so much potential at our school. It's really great to be a part of that. Um, how did you kind of garner interest within the other South Asian organizations on campus? And how did you spread the word? And how is that going with, like, are people interested? Are they going to join? Is there, are you getting a lot of contact from leadership around South Asian organizations? Or how is that? Um, everyone's so very excited about COSA because we didn't have anything like this for South Asian organizations and everyone is excited to participate and bigger the events the better. We love collaborating at COSA and especially um, acting as a backbone for other organizations and helping them flourish as well is something that all the organizations on campus want. And so we've been having amazing feedback and excitement for people joining. That's great. Um, how have, have you been in a different South Asian organization or are you only part of this one? I am a part of um, ISA and other organizations. I actively participate in all um, South Asian organizations. This is the first time I've been having a e-board position. That's really great. I'm really excited for you on that. Um, do you guys have any upcoming events that we could be looking forward to or because it's starting next semester, right? Mm -hmm. um, so how is that going to work? Um, we're having a collaboration with APAC called Mr. Asia next semester during I week, so definitely stay tuned for that. Can you give us any more hints in terms of what you guys will be doing as an organization, <laughs> or is it all kind of hush hush? It's definitely still in the plans, but it's going to be out soon, so stay tuned. <laughs> yes, stay tuned for that. Where can we find you, and how can people attend and join? Um, we are very active on our Instagram. You can find us at Instagram cosa.gmu, and um, that and when we do put out events, we're, you can. Uh, registered by jo on Mason 360. Yeah, so that is COSA with a C. So that is C O S A dot GMU dot EDU, not GMU dot EDU dot GMU on Instagram. <laughs> uh, make sure to follow them because Instagrams for or different organizations are always posting some really awesome things. Um, so make sure to check them out there. 
is there anything else that we can be looking forward to or are we just gonna have to wait until until it's ready to start. You guys do have to look forward to it. We have so much in plans and yeah. we're, we're, that's gonna be up and running. So definitely be on the lookout. Thank you so much for coming on MCN and be sure to check out COSA.gv on Instagram. And also make sure to attend COSA events next semester. And if you're in any other South Asian organizations, make sure to spread the word. Thank you so much for joining us on MCN. I have been Amol. I'm Sona and thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much. Are you a graduate student on campus looking to de-stress and study with other grad students on campus? Join grad student life in a late study session at Fenwick 1014B on Thursday, November 30th from 4 to 8 p.m. There will be snacks and caffeine provided. Looking for another way to de-stress before finals? Join Mason Recreation on a nine-mile round-trip hike to Signal Knob, the northernmost point of the Massena and Mountain Range, just outside of Front Royal, Virginia. This will take place this Saturday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. The trip will meet at the Skyline Fitness Center and depart from there. Now we head to Jimena for the weather forecast for this upcoming week. Hello, Patriots. Today we saw a mostly sunny skies and a high of 39 before dropping down to a low of 27. Thursday will be mostly sunny again, but this time with a high of 51 and a low of 36 to the end of the month of November. Friday will start off December with a cloudy skies and an 80% chance of rain. The high will be 51 and Friday night will see a low of 39 with a chance of rain as well. Then on Saturday, it will be mostly cloudy with a high of 57 and a low of 46. On Sunday, it will be partly sunny with a 40% chance of rain. The high will be 56 and a low of 42. Monday will be a repeat of Sunday's weather with partly sunny skies and a chance of rain. The high will be 57 and we'll see a low of 38. Finally, Tuesday will be mostly cloudy with a high of 52 and a low of 32. Good luck to everyone in their finals and have an amazing winter break. Now back to Brandon and Matt. Thank you, Jimena. In the studio, we have Glenda Patterson. Glenda serves as a senator in the Student Senate, and she's here to tell you more about her role and things currently happening in student government as part of this week's SG segment. Hi, everyone. My name is Glenda Patterson, and I am a junior here. My major is government and international politics, and my minor is business. So I'm a part of many RSOs here on campus, but the main one that I'm going to talk to you guys about right now is student government. So I am a student senator here at George Mason Student Government, and I want to talk to you guys about my initiative. So my initiative is diversity and multicultural affairs based, and I'm sending a survey out to all diversity and multicultural affairs organizations on campus. And I want to gauge how DAMA organizations feel represented by student government. So I'm going to send those surveys out by the end of this week. So expect that. Um, to all the RSOs who are diversity and multicultural affairs organizations. I'm super excited about this initiative because I, my goal as a student senator is to make more people, more minorities feel represented here on campus. Anyways, I hope you guys are having an awesome week and it was great talking to you guys. Thank you, Glenda. Now we head to Ben for the sports update for this upcoming week. There's a one hit out towards right field. They'll wave the run home. Here comes the Ponte. Here comes the throw. It is not in time. Oh, George Mason wins. Oh.
You're listening live to Improv for Mason here on WGMU Radio. Heard WGMU Radio. You know, it wasn't my idea. Today's show with our special guest interview transition for this team in the in the new conference. Welcome to a special it's edition. Been a, of the a first great pick. transition for me personally. I uh, love Mason. I'm a very talented David Keckner. I'm great. How are you doing? We'll read Jonah. It was a pleasure having you on the show today. Thank you. I'm Ben Simpson. On the phone today, we have Drew McGarry, successful author, writer. You're listening to WGMU Radio on WGMU Radio. There's a one hit out towards right field. They'll wave the run home. Here comes the Ponte. Here comes the throw. It is not in time. Oh, George Mason wins. Oh. You're listening live to Improv for Mason here on WGMU Radio. Heard WGMU Radio. You know, it wasn't my idea. Today's show with our special a guest interview transition for this team in the in the new conference. Welcome to a special it's edition. Been a, of the a first great pick. transition for me personally. I uh, love Mason. I'm a very talented David Keckner. I'm great. How are you doing? We'll read Jonah. It was a pleasure having you on the show today. Thank you. I'm Ben Simpson. On the phone today, we have Drew McGarry, successful author, writer. You're listening to WGMU Radio on WGMURadio.com. On Saturday, the men's basketball team hosted East Carolina University at Eagle Bank Arena, where they defeated the Pirates 81-59. Senior Darius Maddox led the Patriots with a season-best 19 points on 7-14 of shooting. This game brings the Patriots to a 5-1 start for the season. Their next game is tonight against the New Jersey Institution of Technology at 7 p.m. The women's basketball team traveled across the Potomac on Wednesday for a 72-62 victory over American University. There, senior, senior Sonia Smith led the Patriots with 18 points. The Patriots then traveled to Baltimore on Sunday for another victory over Copen State University, this time 70-38. These two victories puts the Patriots at 7-0 to start the season, their best start in over 50 years. Their next match will be this Sunday against the University of Maryland in College Park at 1 p.m. Thanksgiving this year saw three games played across the country in the NFL. The first saw the Green Bay Packers upset the Detroit Lions 29-22. Then, the Dallas Cowboys crushed the Washington Commanders 45-10. In the evening, the San Francisco 49ers easily defeated the Seattle Seahawks 31-13 to round out the Thanksgiving Day games. Meanwhile, on Sunday, the Philadelphia Eagles became the first team to 10 wins after defeating the Buffalo Bills in overtime. Enjoy cricket, George Mason. May soon play host to a Major League Cricket Stadium, the Washington Freedom. The newly founded Major League Cricket team here in Washington, D.C. will have their home stadium at George Mason in West Campus near Braddock Road. The stadium will be able to host future MLC games, international games, and even future Cricket World Cup games. In domestic soccer, the MLS Cup's playoffs are down to the final four teams. The Eastern Conference Final will see two Ohio-based teams in a game between FC Cincinnati and the Columbus Crew, while the Western Conference Final will be between Houston Dynamo FC and Los Angeles FC. In international soccer, the Champions League kicked off this weekend after the conclusion of the international break. 
The big results included Man City's 3-2 comeback win after being down 2-0 to RB Leipzig. Galatasaray continued their dream Champions League run with a 3-3 draw against Man United. Bayern fa faced a shock draw to Minners Copenhagen, and Benfica and Inter played to a classic 3-3 thriller in Lisbon. Thank you for turning into the sports segment this week, Patriots. Have a great winter break, and now back to Matt and Brandon. There's a one hit out towards right field. They'll wave the run home. Here comes the Ponte. Here comes the throw. It is not in time. Oh, George Mason wins. Oh. You're listening live to Improv for Mason here on WGMU Radio. Heard WGMU Radio. Dot you know, it wasn't my idea. Today's show with our special a guest interview transition for this team in the in the new conference. Welcome to a special edition. It's been a, of the a first great pick. transition for me personally. I uh, love Mason. I'm a very talented David Keckner. I'm great. How are you doing? We'll read Jonah. It was a pleasure having you on the show today. Thank you. I'm Ben Simpson. On the phone today, we have Drew McGarry, successful author, writer. You're listening to WGMU Radio on WGMURadio.com. There's a one hit out towards right field. They'll wave the run home. Here comes the Ponte. Here comes the throw. It is not in time. Oh! George Mason wins. Oh! Okay, now is our regular round table. Yo. What's up, y'all? Where'd you guys come from? <laughs> what? <laughs> well, with the end of the semester being so close, what has been your guys' favorite moment of this semester? Oh my gosh, guys, thank you so much for asking that. I just wanted to thank you all for having me back on. It's a Christmas miracle that we were able to get here today. Right? Am I right, Shreyas? Hallelujah. Yeah, honestly, I traveled all the way from the control room to get here, and it's been a great time. We so many memories. Yay. I got I got caught in traffic, but my favorite memory of the semester I mean, there's so many. I loved hanging out with my friends. I loved doing MCN. I especially liked beatboxing with Matt. That was really fun. But in addition to that, I um, 
I had another dance battle with a preacher on campus, oh. and this time I won. Mainly because he didn't dance back, but yeah, thank you, thank you. We, we got a crowd of people to do the Macarena while he talked, and how serious can you be if somebody's doing the Macarena behind you? Yeah, Not very. I also like making GMU clubs on Instagram. Please follow. Uh, Shreyas? Word. Uh, similar to um, Julian making a club, my favorite moment of this year was also creating my club. Uh, Sona plugged us earlier, but follow Kota.gmu <laughs> because I will be leaving him soon. <laughs> no! <laughs> and what about Watch you, Mel? <laughs> oh, um... You know, I really enjoyed making our Halloween special for this year. I felt like that was one of our strongest episodes. Yeah. Had a great time. Yeah. What about you, Brandon? Um, my favorite moment wasn't specifically a moment, but it was just being here, working with all you guys. I've had a great time meeting all you guys and being able just to do this. Hmm. It's so sweet. Can't relate. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in, Patriots. You can keep up to date with news on and off campus if you follow us on Instagram at MCN on TV, <laughs> on Twitter and Facebook at K Mason Cable Network, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Matt Stalzer. And I'm Brandon Fergosa. Have a great rest of the semester, Patriots. Good luck with finals and have a great winter break. We'll see you again next semester. Next semester. Bye. Bye.